Hey everyone, so this is kind of a weird idea for a video, but I wanted to consider what some of the rarest in-game events could be. As in the rarest things that can occur when in a trial. I asked my Discord members too on their ideas for this, and they were a lot of help. Repairing a generator as the last survivor was the first thing that came to mind. This is something that really doesn't happen too often, but is certainly a very impressive feat when done, particularly with the limited time you have to do it before the hatch is closed. Quad Head Popper's Pig is something I can imagine doesn't happen too often in Trials, partly because Pig is rare to appear as is, but what's even rarer is Pigs who actually manage to get a pop, so 4 is kind of unheard of. In a similar way, managing to get 4 survivors fully condemned and giving them all the eye would also likely be very rare, given how hard it is to get 1 survivor condemned even. It's very unlikely to mori all 4, I've certainly never seen it. Wesker Collateral Slam is is something that happens very rarely. It happens when you manage to grab one survivor and throw them into another, damaging both. I guess any time where you manage to injure two survivors at the same time would be rare too. Something like slamming two survivors with the same demon slam attack with Oni for example. Dredge locker grab is something that very rarely happens. Most people know to be cautious around lockers with dredge. I think the only way this can happen is if a survivor is in a locker you teleport to, or if they lock a locker whilst you teleport to them, which, let's be honest, barely happens. Trapping someone in a locker as twins. This rarely happens, and partly because twins don't appear much, but also because it's just a very unlikely thing to happen. If you didn't know, Victor is actually able to hold a locker shut for, I think, it's 15 seconds? This stops survivors hiding in lockers from Victor, and allows Charlotte to come over and grab them, whilst they're stuck inside. I've done this once as twins, and I've never seen it as survivor. A bit like the pig one, this is rare because you rarely see twins as is. That definitely accentuates the rarity of these events. Cross map hatchet as huntress or artist is a pretty rare occurrence. I guess cross map hits, not hatchet for both of them. <laughs> By this I mean when a huntress chucks a hatchet into the air and randomly hits a survivor. For Artist, managing to damage a swarm survivor from across the map is also very rare I think, particularly the longer the distance is. Escaping with the box is a pretty rare occurrence. If you didn't know, you can actually leave the trial with the Lament configuration. If you do so, it gives you a cool and somewhat hidden 2500 point score event named Lament Guardian. In general, escaping with any limited item probably rarely happens particularly things like T-Virus vaccines. Wesker first aid sprays is probably a bit more common. Dead Hard A Doctor Shock is something I haven't seen in a live game, and I don't think it's something I've tried either to be honest, as it seems like a huge waste, particularly now with the changes to the perk. Granted, I don't know if this is still possible, I think maybe it no longer is due to the changes to Dead Hard, but still worth mentioning as this was a rare occurrence before, even if not possible now. On the trend of things that you used to be possible and were rare, we have the offering of retired map offerings. Not too long ago, you could still use the retired lower rarity map offerings for some of the earlier maps in a game, despite not being able to unlock them in the blood web anymore. Things like old anniversary cakes are also becoming increasingly rare to see too as offerings. Opening hatch with key was one that some people mentioned, which I thought was a clear one but very true. Opening a hatch with a key never happens anymore, or even the appearance of keys at all. They rarely come into play, and even the times they are possible to use, there's a good chance to find the hatch first, or even just escape through the gates before using a key on hatch. I've never seen a hatch be opened with a key since the hatch and key changes happened. The suspicious light is something that is rarely encountered these days, and it happens very rarely that I imagine many players were confused by its first appearance. This is available through the the glass bead add-on for the map. With this add-on attached, you can activate this marker beam within the trial, only visible to survivors. Complete Global Saturation Score Event is the score event you get when you manage to infect all survivors with Ouroboros. A slightly rarer version of this though would be having all survivors infected and at the maximum, or when the bar gets red. Opening Midwitch Secret Room is an easter egg on the Midwitch map that can be done by completing the Science Room Generator and the Music room generators first. During the end game, the clock tower will open and reveal this secret area, with a chest available to loot. This is very unlikely to happen in a live game. I've had it once again I think. 
to add to this, I suppose looting the maximum number of chests in a trial would also be very rare. If everyone brought the extra chest offerings, and you looted all chests plus the midwitch secret chest, I believe that would be the highest possible number. You could then further loot chests with appraisal, and I believe you could get some kind of ridiculous number of items. According to the wiki, you can have 13 chests available with the perk hoarder, and 4 shiny coins. This could maybe be 14 including the bonus midwitch one. Appraisal allows you to search a chest again 3 times, so you'd technically, if this all worked, be able to get 17 items in a single game, 26 if every survivor ran appraisal, 30 if every survivor also ran residual manifest, assuming appraisal and manifest don't activate together. With the infinite ability to craft flashbangs, I imagine you could make this already ridiculous number even more so. 5 stacks of hex pentamento was something mentioned too. Pentamento is a perk that gains stacks from reconstructing broken totems. When you hit 5 stacks, all totems are blocked off. However, survivors are able to break the rekindled totems, making it hard to retain stacks even when you achieve a few. Managing to do this for all 5 totems without a survivor breaking one of the totems again is very tricky. I've personally done it twice I think, and that was whilst heavily focusing on trying to get the 5 stacks, and not focusing on the game as a whole so much. <laughs> 5 stacks of counterforce was also mentioned. Whilst this isn't so rare, I think with more people using boons and totem related perks these days, the possibility ability to break all five yourself isn't the most likely. To further this, I'm not sure if the stacks could go even higher with Pentamento. Counterforce also never seems to appear in games, so I think that makes this a little rarer too. Getting the rarest chess combination, which I believe is a pink map or key with a purple and a yellow add-on. To do this, you need to have the perk Ace in the Hole, which allows add-ons to be pulled from chest items. You then have to get very lucky getting an iridescent item with the highest possible rarity add-on combination from Ace in the Hole, which is a purple and a yellow. Broken whilst healthy is something that is apparently possible. Someone named Kaito helped me out to test this, so thanks a lot to them. I appreciate it. We managed to do this by pairing Second Wind, or Renewal, with Adrenaline, finishing the last gen before unhooking, and we managed to get a broken yet healthy survivor. Jonathan Appearances is probably the rarest character you can see in game. Jonathan I believe is the only in-game character character that is completely unobtainable. Both Nancy and Steve you can still technically get through digital codes, but Jonathan was only available in the in-game store, and had to be bought prior to the date of the removal of Stranger Things, making him the rarest character I believe. Getting Nemesis to speak is a bit of a weird one, but this can happen when Nemesis grabs the star's survivor out of a locker or does a Mori on them, which in the grand scheme of things is pretty rare to actually occur. Legacy characters will was one that was mentioned too, and a great shout I think. I barely see legacy characters nowadays. Legacy was a special cosmetic available to people who prestiged early during year one of the game, before the blood web was made to be much easier to complete. As a reward to those who hit prestige 3 with their characters, their characters received a legacy. To end off I thought we would discuss some different grab related events. Grabbing someone from a snowman is apparently possible. The snowmen are only available during the winter event which lasts 3 weeks I believe, making this on a tight timeline, and making it rarer. Glyph grabs are another thing that I've never personally seen happen. To even get this to be possible, you have to run into a survivor at the same time they find their glyph, that they had to run in the first place prior to the game, and then manage to time a grab correctly. Finally, I thought sabotage grabs were extremely rare. When survivors sabotage, they are typically in a fairly safe spot, as they usually happen when the killer is already carrying someone making grabs impossible. There's no reason really to sabotage a hook at any other time, and so a sabo grab likely only happens very rarely, when a stealth killer happens to come upon someone sabotaging for a challenge or something. Combining these all together though, the rarest thing we deduce to be something like grabbing someone off of hatch who's opening it with a key. When is this ever going to happen really? I think it has to be one of the rarest in-game events. Alright, well, that's gonna do it. I do hope you enjoyed. Let me know if there's something rarer you think that I missed down below. Thanks, and goodbye.